What's up guys, you're with Mojo Man 2545 and today we are playing the Stanley Parable. And when I restarted the game after our weird Damn it, I closed it all. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. <sighs> this couldn't go anywhere except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Will I Stanley be, though? Waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. No one but the will one thing know. he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Oh God, hurry up. Here it comes. What the? Oh, game. Stupid. Stupid game. Oh no, all the papers disappeared. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. What? How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Um, uh, sure. When Stanley came to a set No, he doors, did not. He the this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Not really. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, yep. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I can no. Damn it, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Ha 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 It's gone 2AP. Caution, do not lie. If you're lying, stop right now. Okay, I'm not OP. I'm sorry. I need a card for that machine. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. A thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. Five thousand dollars. There's a door down there. I want to jump onto something. YOLO! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. <sighs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh, God. Oh, I'm alive again. All of his co-workers were gone. What, could what is this? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came no, to the he set of two did of them, not. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. No, it didn't. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. Play round. Standing now is in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get back to yep. business. Stanley took very the first open door to on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, I want to get down there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I don't foot know here. how I'm going to get down there. I'm not there. your enemy, really, I'm not. Can I jump on that? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Has it, though? Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. What? Stanley doesn't need nobody. You don't need no woman. This He's is his own Stanley. man. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I don't care. 
I'm not talking to her. I don't want to talk to her. She's a fool. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. I don't if want to talk to her. truly place your faith in another, then nope. pick up the phone. Nope. Ooh, maybe I can pull it out of the socket. Is that a UK sockets? That look like them. Look like a person going, oh, no, that's the American ones. This was funny. Alright, shut up, bitch. Stop ringing me. Why is it all white? Oh, look, 47. <laughs> Even my house number is called 427. No, it's not. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. You can't oh, jump. Right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What the? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. You're I'm trying to get you to see some mean person Come inside. Right Let me show you what's nope. really going on here. I'm not going inside. Sorry. Whoa, fuck. You're in my story now. Not gonna lie, that's getting shit out of me. No. You motherfucking duck. This so you have is a penis. very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? No. I don't want to know about the death of Stanley. I'm not going to do it. I want to go to my... Oh, okay, I can't do anything else. Alright, fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. <sighs> a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I'm Stanley, aren't I, right now? Look at him there. He's just pressing, pressing buttons, the buttons. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's... <sighs> now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <sighs> Fuck off, narrator. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <sighs> and so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day what? while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Why would it excite me? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, <laughs> choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered Whoa. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh, this is starting to become down my desk. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is oh, no I knew How this would happen. Be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. <sighs> Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, 
Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm presuming there's no way I can get out of this. That I have to press E. Oh, we could just watch this clock. Which is a very interesting clock. It's very nice. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Do you see what I see? I suppose I can't. Do you see I'm what I see? To. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time... Maybe this time I won't see. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. What? Please die! Again. And Stanley pushed a button. I'm not dying. I okay, I am dying. Well, shit. So we're going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more. Awesome content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.